How's it going, everyone? This is Dr. Hefe playing some more The Wolf Among Us. Among Us, Among Us, Among Us. And we are on episode four, I believe. Yes, we just finished up episode three. Last time, very short story because, you know, they always give us a recap. We met Bloody Mary, somebody who's working for the Crooked Man. She shot us with the silver bullet, and, you know, we're a big bad wolf, kind of a werewolf, so we got injured by it. They took Ichabod Crane, and I guess we're gonna hunt them down in episode four in sheep's clothing. Good old, good old blue beard. Look how smug he looks. He looks so smug. All right, let's start it. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Green must have taken a shard with him. Oh yeah, we never Open got that shard arms. back. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Yeah, here we go. Here's the gunfight. Okay. <laughs> what? Take that was that was the line from Bloody Mary. That was a good show, but you know. A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Right. So the crooked man wants Snow White. Oh, nice. Our arm healed up that quickly. Hopefully this is current day, not a flashback. Seems like we're tripping out right now. See you around. Yeah. Okay, All that makes more sense. Nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. <sighs> oh, God, my arm. This way, old boy. <laughs> Jesus. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Dude. There's little I can do for the pain. Why not? Give me something for the fast. pain. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly. But not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please, don't move it. Yeah. God, Look, don't move your hand. I'm saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. What? I'm gonna do this? Hell no! Yo, just let him do his own thing. Oh Heaven's god. Sake. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, that wasn't so difficult, was it? I mean, how's it gonna stay put? You gotta wrap that thing up. That'll do. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. Yo, I can hear you. In us, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shut up. I'm taking things out of your guts. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... Out of the woods. Believe me. And you over the hill. Be in better hands. And on to and grandmother's so house well. we so, go. If you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Stick around, alright? I don't know if I trust this guy. 
Oh, please, I can do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time. What about this pig, yo? We're gonna keep hey, this Doc, pig around? how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Dude, we haven't seen you since house? episode hey, listen, one. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no oh, joke. just like a little bandaging around the frickin' fracture. Fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, he'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I Yo, will. maybe we should have like He'll more than one person him. on this Sleep police watch. force. Just keep watch and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll just keep trying. I don't got really much to say. My dude should be like anyway, really so out of it for again, sure. Say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. <laughs> what? But these guys got like a history here. The pig and. Professor Swinehart? So, how do you, um, feel? Like shit. Like shit, it's Snow White. Baby, Snow. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hell, I've seen him take words. Ah, uh, dude, Not of course. Worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. I mean, look at Snow White, she's just covered in blood. I'm glad you're not dead. It's like some off-Broadway play here. She's out here murdering people with the Huntsman. You, uh, Covered in blood and stuff. You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or... or died, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we've it's, seen Fables um, die before. Like, the woodsman got his head chopped in. you scared the hell out of me. He came I've back from it. never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. Yeah, it was let's, just... Let's ask Awful. Her. You were really worried about me? Yeah, time to admit you guys have yeah, feelings for each really other. you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? Dude, I have no idea. I'm a strong but silent type. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. It was a split second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, yeah. I'd make I mean, it again thanks for saving me, someday. dude. Save right. me over Crane for fault. sure. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. I mean, what? She would have killed no us problem. and taken Crane thanks. anyway. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witch. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Exactly what Crane I just said. Still would have been taken. See okay, me and Big okay, on the I'll same page. Word for it. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? 
I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm going to say here. On. Let's go with option this is number about one. about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. Bigby, I have no the idea what you just said. Declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like you're... <laughs> yeah. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Hey. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. No, it's Ichabod Crane's fault. So I'm not here to take any now, personal responsibility. We do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of. Sure, you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, no, you're like way overreacting. She's like trying to control to us. We can't be controlled. Just let that side of you We're be done, okay? A madman. and buried, and we can all move on. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? Yeah, they had shotguns there are and degrees. stuff. Degrees. Degrees. I only ever do what's necessary. Yeah, I didn't rip really? Tweedledee in half. Well, if that's the case, or Tweedledum or whatever his to face. Colin why ripping Gren's arm off was necessary. Okay, that was yeah, exactly. The fight wasn't over. <laughs> I had to make sure he wouldn't come back after me. You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was, he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. I'm glad I have this pig Everybody on my side. Everybody wants Bigby to smile, oh, shave, my goodness. and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? Oh, nice. It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Yeah, and of course. This situation you always got my respect. To end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna oh, be? Oh, God damn it, Colin. You gonna make me make a choice? Yeah, yeah, let's just save by the bell right Wolf's here. Residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Yeah, what about Buffkin, the Guess flying who's monkey? Guess waiting in your office right now. Is it Bluebeard? It's Bluebeard. Nerissa. Nerissa? Ah. That broad from the pudding and pie? Wait, how's the yes. pig know about this? <laughs> Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to Just talk to Just imagine a pig down at but the strip that club. she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah, for Consider sure. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. 
Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. So that's like Bigby's way. She's a piece of work. He's just gonna keep putting off hey, doing work. You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are until you? Until he has to, like, I mean, you know. She seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just. Yeah, exactly. I'm all taking the middle path until someone's arm needs to be right ripped now. off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Colin will remember that? Dude, Colin, we haven't seen you in three episodes. I don't care what you remember or forget. You're a pig. You're not an elephant. Like, your ability to remember things is highly suspect anyway. Hello. I got my entire guts blown out outside of your strip club last night. Hope you're cool with that. Get a little nice little intro scene yet again. See, that's the kind of blue I want to have. Look at that light blue right there. Beautiful shade of blue. Like, it doesn't come back though. They really like this like pinkish purplish color. Anybody who has like good color skills, and by that I mean ability to name colors, because I know there's like there's like probably a hundred shades of red. Fifty shades of gray apparently. Like they wrote a whole book about it. Like two hundred shades of purple. Like look how many purples were just in that Hi, title sequence right Sheriff. there. Hello. Hi, Hopefully your lips are no longer sealed. You can actually tell me something useful. Have a seat. I mean, last time we figured something out just by... Like, she was just, like, pointing at the book and stuff. Man, the lighting I... here is um, real nice. Are you okay? No, I'm definitely you not didn't okay. You good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. You mean alive? If I came by. Well, let's just say I've been better. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still kicking. I like how we have FBI wanted fugitives. Aren't we just a fable town? Coffin pops. Cop. Not many people smoke those. What is he? She's some sort of cigarette elitist over here. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. What about well, that sign spell language? Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Huh. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. That's exactly what try. I was saying. I just... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you can't promise it anything. might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. So it's about Faith and Lily. Yeah, for sure. Is this making any sense? Yeah, of course. I'm not sure how I can... Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. 
so I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people, and not just my friends. Hmm, is she saying there's something in, the, in this room? I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... Yeah, your lips are sealed. I gotcha. But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. And so did Do you uh, like it? the other lady. Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Are you going to take off the ribbon? What happens if you take off the ribbon then? Won't the crooked man come after you? Oh, he's going to do it. All right. We're going to go for it. You mind if I just... No. Lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. Oh, okay. I thought you would have you known... Do that. I was going to slow do that. down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. I guess we should have asked first. <laughs> okay. My bad. My okay. bad. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Yeah. I mean, we should just apologize. Sorry, I wish I could do something. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Yeah, of course I can. I could be in a lot of... Who else am I gonna... Trouble. Who else am I gonna tell? I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. I mean, you didn't even tell me anything. You just told me... Like, you literally told me nothing. Snow, be cool. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Oh, she's being very be emphatic. Time. Wait, you don't have to go. All right. So we got a clue, and Narissa says it's a that good clue. Was abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? No, I didn't. She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Well, now I feel like I broke her trust, but... Is this the right uh... place to look? What I didn't expect him to say all those things. Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on. That's what Narissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Alright, let's go. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. To the Crooked Man, huh? Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? Yes, that of course That would I explain do. why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? 
I have other matters to attend to. Oh, you're not gonna be my little crime solving buddy? Damn, she just ditched me right at the elevator. That's cold blooded. That's cold blooded. But this seems like a good place to end this first episode. We got we got some information out of people. Nerissa seems pretty helpful. I I think I may have betrayed her by telling Snow White about the ribbon, but oh well, what can you do? What can you do? That's uh, that's water under the bridge. And uh, it looks like we survived. We survived the silver bullet. So good times. So yeah, that'll do it for this one. Until next time, do remember, as always, to take care of yourself. And I'll see you later.